folks, welcome back to another daily unboxing. And uh, this is Sam Healy. We're going to be taking a look at Star Wars Legion, the bad dudes. So we've got the speeder bikes, ATSTs, and stormtroopers that we're going to take a look at today. So let's start off with the big dog, the ATST unit expansion. So we go ahead and open that up. And this pops out. Wow, it's already rather large. Whoops. And that big old dude is right there. So we'll take that out, take a look at him, because he's not too many parts at all. Wow, look at the detail on the bottom of it. That's really cool. The little, I don't know if you can see, let me get an angle where you can see they're actually hanging down those coils and uh, different kinds of things. So that's really cool. The handrail on the top, that's also good. I like that, I like it a lot. Um, here we have looks like the legs and part of the bottom, I guess. Let's see. This guy. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be something like this. I don't know. But this looks like a very neat model. I'm liking the way, oh, what is that? What is this? This looks like it's gonna fit somewhere like that fits in there like that. And then this fits in there like that. That looks kind of strange. I bet you there's a housing <laughs> that goes around that. Why don't we look at the rules at the, uh, at the, uh, huh. Well, that's how that goes on there. Hmm, interesting. I wonder how that's gonna look when all is said and done. Maybe you won't be able to see, I don't know. We'll see, but you have all of that in here. A little bit more of an involved one, the, the most involved one it looks like that, I, that we've seen so far. So there is that, but uh, this looks pretty cool. I like the size of it. I mean, if that just gives you any inclination how big it is, that's that's going to be a sizable model on the on the battlefield so that's cool uh, let's take a look at these things here's the base for it good night all right and let's tear these open and look at these cards see what's coming in here come on you can do it you can come on out it's okay all right so we've got the 88 twin light light blaster cannons the mortar launcher which is uh, another extension you can either have this or that i would imagine or maybe this is on one side that's on the other general weiss all right that's cool uh, long range comly comms jammer and then a dw3 concussion grenade launcher all right so this is another thing that you can have on one of the sides here so these three should be up front probably those are your different um, options. And here we have the ATST unit card. All right, looks cool. So, this is a really neat expansion um, for all this. I mean, there's just a lot of good stuff in here. This is probably one of my favorite models. Um, you know, nothing can beat the Falcon, of course, but. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite models in the Star Wars universe. Um, I really like this. I really like the walkers, but I like this one a lot better. So, uh, yeah, this looks really neat. All right, let's uh, see what else we got today. Um, we've got troopers. Storm troopers. And it looks like much like your rebel troopers, these guys are going to come. And we'll take one out so we can take a gander at it. These guys are going to come one per, and it looks like this is a, this might even could be a, uh, maybe if I could try to, wow, that's really, let's see here. Well, something like that. Yeah, that's pretty close. That wasn't too difficult. So that part of the model is definitely a push fit. And you know what? It looks like you could even leave it that way. So you don't even need glue for that. Hmm. But you'll need glue for the bottom, of course, for the base. But that's a pretty good looking model. Pretty good looking model indeed. All right. So that's 
one of the troopers. We'll go ahead and leave him together. And uh, your bases and all that good stuff. And then you have some other stuff over here, cards and whatnot. So some of these we've probably already seen in the base box, but let's just take a look just in case. So yeah, we saw that one. We saw that one. We saw those. We've seen impact grenades, we've seen grappling hooks. So nothing new here as far as that's concerned. And you know, we've already seen this one as well. Stormtroopers, precise one. When you spend an aim token, reroll up to one additional die. Yeah, okay. And then your tokens here. And then of course, the sheet that tells you how to put everything together. So, pretty straightforward. Um, but you get seven more troopers just like in the uh, other one. Just like in the Rebel side, you get seven more troopers in your expansion box. All right, cool. Cool, cool. All right, and then finally, we have the speeder bikes. And with the speeder bikes, you're going to get two of them in here, I believe. And they all come here. Now, um, so you've got the main chassis, I guess you could say, uh, which is like so. So that gives you an idea of how big the model is going to be. You know, not too hard, not too large, but uh, also not small either. You know, these are pretty, pretty well designed minis. And then of course you're going to have your 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 dude sitting on top of it. There's the the, the posts that they're going to rest on because they're floating in the air. And you have a lot of little tidbitty things that have to be uh, uh, glued on. But you can see that in here like this. Um, so the the model basically has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces uh, for each one. So uh, you're talking 22 pieces for two models. That's not bad, uh, but it is pretty heavy, and it's not what people from uh, uh, that are fantasy flights. Um, well, I don't know. I, I don't want to presume. Maybe maybe you know people will uh, not be expecting. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So that is your speeder bikes. We also took a look at the ATST and the troopers as well. Thanks for joining us for this unboxing video. We'll see you guys on the flip side.